Hello and welcome everyone, guys and girls. How are you all doing? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I bring you a brand new tutorial on how to recover your Outlook, formerly Hotmail, account if you've lost access and can't log in. Before we begin, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of our future videos. Now, let's get started with the tutorial. Once you're on the Google homepage, type in Outlook and click on the first result, which takes you to Microsoft Outlook, formerly known as Hotmail. Once you're there, go to the top right corner and click on Sign In. Now, you'll see the login page. Since we've lost access to our account, what we need to do is click on Sign In Options. Once there, you'll be shown three choices. The first option is face recognition, fingerprint, PIN, or security key, basically using your device to sign in with a passkey. If you click the question mark next to that option, you'll see a note explaining that it's easier and more secure to sign in using passkeys. These can be face recognition, fingerprint, PIN, or a security key. No passwords, apps, or codes are needed. But if you've lost your password and can't use that method, let's look at the other options. As you can see, there's also an option to sign in with GitHub, but this only works if you previously linked your Microsoft account to GitHub, mostly used for professional or educational purposes. If you haven't done that, this option won't help. Now, let's try the last option, I forgot my username. Click on it, and here's where we can recover our username. All you have to do is enter your email address or phone number associated with your Microsoft account. Microsoft will then send a verification code if the info matches their records. If you don't have access to either your email or your phone number, your last option is to use a security key. You'll see a message like, we're verifying it's really you, asking you to insert a security key via USB. This is a more advanced method and only works if you previously set it up. My best advice is to try entering any email address or name you used when creating the account. This might help Microsoft identify and help recover your account. I hope this video helped you recover your Outlook account. If it did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and goodbye.